the initiative is to get kids back into the classroom and back to learning. Jennifer Horton wants to see all students go back to class full time and in person. She's a first grade teacher and mother in Fenton. Horton will be joining forces with the Huron Valley Schools parent advocates to speak and protest at the state capitol. Our mental health with our young adults is a major concern. Isolation, depression, anxiety, suicides are all up. There's a slew of reasons why Horton thinks students belong in class. Difficult educationally, and it certainly isn't good for parents that are trying to work. The rally will take place at 3 p.m. in Lansing on Saturday. Horton will be speaking at the event. She says her school is full-time and in person and adds that it's going great, while not all teachers in mid-Michigan feel that way. I want people to keep something in mind. We are still in a pandemic. Frank Berger is a biology teacher at Carmen Ainsworth High School. He says his school has adopted a hybrid model where students are in the classroom just a few days a week. Berger says that's the way it should be for his district. The first and number one priority for all education and all schools should be right now the safety of students and the safety of the educators serving them right now. Berger believes that all districts should decide how they want to proceed on their own. Berger thinks having all of his 33 students in class at once would be dangerous. You can't social distance when you have all the students here. And the parent advocacy group that's hosting this rally says it supports face-to-face -face learning as well as keeping the option of virtual learning for families. Horton hopes all districts can figure out a way to offer full face-to-face -face learning soon. And I do understand that some people are a little apprehensive about going back to the classroom because they're nervous. In Genesee County, Rachel McCrary, WNEM, TV5.